Hi everyone, in this video I am going to introduce you to um, a financial statement analysis called working capital. Now, working capital, if you are familiar already with what's known as the current ratio, is going to look very similar because working capital uses the same accounts as the current ratio. It uses current assets and current liabilities. Only as opposed to the current ratio, which divides these two numbers, working capital actually subtracts them. So you see the formula over here, current assets minus current liabilities, and that's gonna give us our working capital. And the name working capital is essentially a way of saying, hey, um, after you've paid off the debts you expect to come due in the next year, how much value do you have left to essentially work with to help um, do something different with the business? And so here we have the balance sheets of uh, Weiss Markets and Kroger, both in the um, grocer industry. Um, and we're going to pull the current assets and current liabilities from both companies. So in the case of Weiss Markets, their current assets are um, 508292. So 508292. Um, their current liabilities are uh, 291938. Okay, and then over on Kroger's side, we have current assets of 10,890. Don't let the scaling throw you off. Kroger's numbers are in millions. Weiss's numbers are in thousands. Um, and then we're going to have uh, current liabilities of 14,243. 14,243. All right, so I'm going to pull out my calculator and we'll do a little math on this. Uh, let's do Weiss first, 508292 minus 291938 gives us working capital of 216,354. If we do Kroger next, we've got 10,890 minus 14,243 or a negative 3,353. All right, what does this tell us about the companies? Remember what I said, it's telling you after you pay off your current debts, how much money do you have left to work with? And so in the case of Weiss, um, they're gonna have 216, this is actually millions because they, it's 216 million because these numbers were actually thousands. Um, they're gonna have 216 million left to work with after they've paid off their current debts. Kroger, on the other hand, won't have anything left. In fact, they don't have enough money to pay off their current debts. And we could have figured that out by looking at this ratio, working capital. We could have also figured it out by looking at the current ratio because that tells us a similar thing. In fact, both of these ratios are what we consider liquidity, liquid, liquidity ratios. And I know it's a little misleading to say the word ratio because we didn't actually do a ratio here. We did a subtraction. We just kind of generically referred to it that way. Um, but this is essentially telling you that, hey, Kroger doesn't have enough money. The magic number here is greater than or equal to zero, right? It's okay to come in at zero. You pay off your current debts, you have nothing excess to work with. Okay, fine. But the more you have, the better off you are. What you don't want to be is less than zero because that means you can't pay off your current debts and you're going to be in trouble if you don't make moves to counteract this. So there you have it, um, working capital for two different companies. You see two very different outcomes, and this is how you would interpret those outcomes. That's it for working capital. Hope you found it interesting, and I hope you join me for another video.